Morgan Garda, the whole time director and CFO of the company, joins us now. Good afternoon. Um, let me first start by asking you about your digital business. That's clearly been the growth driver. It, the growth there was 82% in the quarter gone by. Are you confident that this type of growth will sustain any targets that you've set uh, for your digital business? Well, uh, we are happy to uh, uh, note that uh, it's grown in the first half at 82 percent. Uh, well, overall, when we did the IPO last year, we were expecting it to be growing at between 30, 35 percent. And actually, we grew the last quarter at 53 percent, and it's further accelerated. Our uh, meaning, we, I would estimate that we should be at around 70 odd percent, 60 to 70 percent for the full year. Uh, and which is, of course, a very, very good uh, growth number. And all of this is still on the back of actually the infrastructure rollout. So the broadband, 4G, etc. rollouts have still not yet fully happened. So I think we are uh, on a very uh, confident uh, wicket, I would say. All right. Uh, while your revenues in your digital business are growing, can you give us a sense of what the operating profit is from both your digital business and your traditional media? Can you also give us what uh, the margins uh, you're enjoying in both the divisions? So the overall margin for the company uh, in general is in the range of between 24 and 28 percent at the EBITDA level. And um, uh, within that, I would, uh, it's actually, uh, in, you know, it's not possible for me to give the breakup of the margin between traditional and digital. But all I can say is that the digital media enjoys a high operating leverage because the costs are obviously not growing as fast as the revenue. And, um, you know, there are a certain fixed elements in terms of the costs of, uh, you know, infrastructure, equipment, etc., or even... Uh, uh, certain uh, one-time digitization costs that we incur for the content versus the revenue as it grows, I think the operating leverage is very high. So is your digital business profit-making or not? Uh, yes, it is profit-making. On a cash level, or EBIT level? EBIT level also and cash level also both. So could you tell us what the EBIT of your digital business was in the second quarter or the first half? Like I said, like I said that we are uh, not in a, I mean that's, we are not giving the number at, at this point in terms of the breakup. But all I can say is that the operating leverage being very high, uh, you know, in fact, uh, since the growth at which, the, the scale at which the growth has happened, uh, the profitability for the digital business has been extremely robust. Okay. You've been making various tie-ups. You tied up with who? You've tied up with Tata Sky for premier movie services. You've tied up with Red Chili's Entertainment. Um, what will this do in terms of your overall revenue growth that we could expect in F5, 16 and 17? So, a couple of things. I mean, Hook is, uh, Hook is a subscription service uh, based on the digital subscription service, which is a monthly uh, plan. And this is actually a service which has been promoted by Singapore Telecom, uh, Warner Brothers, and Sony, Tele Sony, uh, Sony Pictures Entertainment. Uh, so that's a subscription-based service that we've tied up with. With Tata Sky and with Airtel DTH, so Airtel Digital TV, there's been an interesting uh, service that we've uh, launched along with both of them, which is called Miniplex. Now this service actually is uh, is a movie premiere service where we are premiering one movie every week, uh, every Friday, and mixing it up with uh, some other very interesting content. And this is a ad-free premium service which has been launched at a 60 rupee uh, price point. And what's uh, uh, your the share? customers. What's your share so from that's that 60 other, rupees? Uh, thing and. Uh, <coughs> Was the revenue share? Typically, there is a yeah. revenue share uh, post uh, the taxes and uh, statutory, post the statutory uh, uh, taxes and uh, other statutory le levies. Typically, you know, normally you split the uh, revenues half and half. Okay. All right, Mr. Garda, we leave it at that. Thanks so much for joining in. That's the word from Shimaru Entertainment. Digital business will continue to drive the overall growth. For the markets, we leave the nifty uh, frontline indices with gains of nearly 